I haven't even finished editing last week's vlog. I'm only up to freaking Friday. 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 Okay, so I literally just finished my vlog. It's Monday. It's almost 11 in the morning. And um, let's see, how long is it? It's 10 minutes and 49 seconds long, but I'm really proud of it. I really give no effort into the titles of my vlogs. Cause I just, I don't know, it's a whole week. How do you summarize a whole week? This week's pretty ridiculous. I have no idea of the hours that I'm working. All I know is that I've got Compass and Youth on Friday at church on the Sunday. Once I know my hours, I will tell them. Oh, just something I remembered just now. If you don't have me on Snapchat, um, add me because it's pretty much like a daily vlog, but instant. It's on your phone. I've always made myself run late as well because I couldn't find my car keys. I left them in the pants I wore yesterday, but I went through all of the laundry, couldn't even find those pants. So it's like, what the hell? So now I've got my spare keys, which I didn't even know I had. Well, that's another day. I actually finished at about 10.30 this time, which is, I'm just, I'm getting much faster at my job. Very tired. Be good if you knew how to do your hair, Dylan. Here's a little fact. I'm long overdue for a haircut. <laughs> and I was going to go for one this week, but I have no idea what hours I'm working. I know that today I'm working 12.30 to 6. So everyone seems to be doing 40Ks today. Uh, it's not the speed limit. I'll be finished at six. It's only Tuesday, wow. This week's already going slow, but fast at the same time. It's 6.20 and I finished already. It's like, what? I had so many people visit me today. My mum visited, my friend's mum visited, Louise and Aiden visited, and my sister visited. It's like, am I even at work today? What's going on? A change of plans to my department switch. I'll be going to Delhi in Nightfield. I've negotiated the hours already, so it's hours I feel comfortable with doing at night, and hours I'm comfortable with doing during the day. So it's it's really great, it's amazing. I just went to Pack and Save, the best supermarket in the world. It's, it's, it's $2. <laughs> what are you eating? Crackers. It's slightly stale as well. Yeah, stale and spicy. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do fish cakes for Thursday. So it's Wednesday today and I'm working 12.30 to 6 again. I'm really liking these apples, but I'm probably never going to be doing them again. I almost completely forgot to add yesterday, or the day before even, that I've made a playlist for all the music that plays in the vlogs because I've had a few people ask me, oh what's this song, and oh what's this song. So just follow it on Spotify, there's a link in the description. It's got in order the songs from every weekly vlog. Go check it out. Just a six hour day today. It's quite, it's like it's a nice couple of hours of working. It feels like you've got the rest of the day to yourself. You know, I regret speaking like that, but I know it's going to end up in my vlog. <laughs> Even though I finished early, I'm just really tired. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm getting my hair chopped today. I know it doesn't look like too much on the front, but at the back, it's just, what, oh, what is it? So my work roster is all up in the air at the moment. I don't really know what times or days I'm working. At the moment, I'm usually working 12.30 to 6, which is great hours, but um, the pay next week's gonna be interesting from that. Cause I just got my pay this week, and even though I only worked like six less hours, it was a noticeable difference. <laughs> So I just did my last day in seafood. Uh, it was all great, it was all great. I was training up some new staff and um, got a little bit emotional at the end, but it was all good. I'm just going to get my hair cut now and I'm starting in Delhi tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I am actually really excited. I don't know why, because I'm gonna have to learn everything all over again. I just had my hair cut. This lighting does not do it justice. I got it quite well shaven on the back there. It's quite a, it's the shortest I've had it in a long time. Oh, what you got there? And then I went like that and I was like, oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Ashley started following me. Wait, wait. I can see that. Who's Ashley? I don't know. Let's find out, eh? One. Wow. No. Refresh. Who is that? I don't know, but look, she's quite young. Let's just get out of there. Give it <laughs> this lady is one of my favourite singers in the whole world. It's also going to be how I'm going to play my guitar. <laughs> it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm doing my first day of Delhi today, so that should be fun. This is going to take some getting used to. So it's almost 12 o'clock. I should be in my radio show by now. Preparing for it, but I'm not. So I'll just play whatever song's on the list, as I do not have time to make one. 104.9 Compass FM, you're here with Dylan till 3 o'clock for your Friday afternoon. It's just come to 12 past 12 on Compass FM. The day's looking pretty good out there, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, start to your weekend, I'm going to start off with a little bit of the Macarena. Hey girl, how's it going? Dylan Bader, what have you got in your hand? Fine. What is it? Is it your new one? <laughs> It fries, it fries, it fries, it fries. Oh, the cold room just stinks like far, hey. It froze, Larissa. Oh, I forgot about phones. Oh, do you know what I don't like? What? Having hair around my nipples. I forgot Siri's a thing, eh? Language, New Zealandish. This whole process has been recorded. <laughs> this is a wild <laughs> alien. Hi. How do you feel about being in a dill vlog? Mean. Bean. Bean. <laughs> this is Samuel Nimmo at a dress up party. These are my homies Dylan Fade Up, Ben Steele, and Emma. <laughs> Trimble! Emma, share your thoughts on um, on to worlds on well on the world's pressing issues at the moment. Um the world's pressing issues. Issues? Are This is the world's number one pressing issue, Ben Steele. Yeah, he is a danger to the economy. He is dangerous to the children. He's dangerous to the children. You heard it here first, to the people. If you see him, keep your children, children away. You heard it here. Keep your children away from this guy. He's on the predators list of New Zealand. He drives an ice cream truck. Um, data wipe complete. Oh. Restart. So it should start up as a whole new phone now. <laughs> um, working today. Cool. I've still got Flappy Bird. The game. Take a bell. <laughs> oh, oh, why are you filming me right now? I don't know. Yum. This is a, a, a fagato. <laughs> a bit shaky, I'm a bit nervous. Oh, oh. Apparently that's how you do it. Sitting in Joe's garage, watching the rugby. <laughs> do you not want to be on it? Hi. Got church. That's about it, really. Sitting in a mall, bought a shirt and a holder, phone holder. Okay. I brought some clothes. What did you buy though? Amy? I brought you ripped show jeans. Off? Why did you buy? How much did the ripped jeans cost, they Amy? $70. Holy. No, but that's normal for jeans. Is it? Yeah. Ripped jeans? Yeah. Jeans that have been ripped. Hold them. They look good. For $70. This here. $30. It was $30. Down from $60. That's actually really cool. Yeah. I really like it. What's your favourite fruit? <laughs> Tangerine. Yay. What's your favourite fruit? Kiwi fruit. Do you know I say banana, but that was just the first thing that popped into mind. I don't actually like bananas. That's my least favourite fruit. <laughs> oh, what's your favourite fruit? I don't like fruit. What a f dick. <laughs> I really like grapes. Oh, what's your favourite fruit? Oh my 
Sorry? <laughs> wasn't a child. Oh, my camera's got 1% battery and it is 11.05 at night. So, love pizza and chicken grease, and I'll see you guys next week. You <laughs>